What's up guys, Eric, I've got the new Arma Crate and EXB out again for another uh, another throwdown. Uh, this truck is just uh, simply amazing, uh, out of the box, you know, with all the key upgrades and all the right spots. Um, you know, tons of innovation in this truck. And just again, just huge shout out to Arma and uh, Horizon Hobby for giving me the opportunity to uh, to run this truck and, uh, you know, give a review. Um, it's, it's an amazing rig for sure. I did make a couple changes in here. Uh, first of all, you can see I've got an M2C brace in the rear. Um, that's, that's nothing wrong with the actual uh, EXB brace. But what happened is I, uh, you know, about a week ago, I went off a, a huge pile, dirt pile, and I was up so high I couldn't. Uh, I just had a had a death perception issue, <laughs> and uh, it came down real heavy on the rear end and busted a diff case to smithereens. Went ahead and installed a, a hot racing diff case, and uh, the bolt sheared off right here um, in the EXB brace. So there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I do uh, plan on you know replacing that you know with an actual EXB brace when they're available. Um, I did go ahead just for extra insurance to put on the M2C uh, a rear tower brace, uh, just just to give that you know that much more uh, a, a strength in the rear end. Um, the chassis overall, as you can see, there's no more no more beautiful writing on the bottom of it, but it's holding up exceptionally well. Um, you know, considering what it's been through, I mean, it's you know it's tweaked just a hair, but I mean nowhere near you know like what an RTR stamp chassis would. So she's definitely holding up you know really good. Um, and I'm super impressed. Um, one thing I did do also, and I would recommend, uh, especially after after you run the truck a little bit, is go ahead and add a shim right here on the front and rear at your outer bearing shim, because uh, it doesn't come with any shims. Uh, they are much thicker gears, but I think if you add one shim in there, it'll give it just that much more insurance. Uh, you know, as far as any hard on throttle landings or you know stuff like that, just to just to keep those gears uh, intact. But anyway, again, I'm running the Hobby Star uh, 4092. A 1480kv 23 tooth pinion with a max 6 esc um, i've got a fan blade off of here so i just replaced this fan and uh, after one bash it it broke a blade already so so hopefully she'll uh, stay cool enough to get a good run in but anyway all right guys let's see what's up And she makes it. Oh, 
Oh, that was close. 